In this video, I'm going to show you how I did an end-to-end -end process using generative AI with BigQuery and Python. And the process is lead allocation. So what we're doing is we're receiving leads from customers and then we're using some sort of intelligence using Gen AI. So the intelligence is stored on a database to allocate those leads to the right person. So let's get started. So this is BigQuery, this is where my leads start. So this would be populated by a system. So essentially all the leads have a name of the lead, whether it's a new customer or not, what they're interested in, and an inquiry here. It's also possible for the leads to be spam and the Gen AI model needs to recognize that. So we have three columns here. We've got the, whether it's allocated or not, whether there's a salesperson or not, or the allocation reason. And these all have to be populated with our Gen AI process. For staff, this is where it's getting the intelligence from. I have my name of my staff, then I have the number of sales they've made in each area, and I have the bio. So they have specific skills in specific areas within this car dealership that they should be allocated leads based on, and then the number of the current leads here, which comes into the process flow as well. I then take this into Python, and then I log into Google Cloud, um, and I'm putting in my OpenAI key as well up here. All this code is saved out on GitHub if you wanna try it yourself. But the flow works like this. Firstly, I'm just going to pull the data from the database. So this is just pulling both of these tables in. So exactly as we saw before, this is the staff, and then I'm pulling in my leads as well. And what this does, this magic command does, is that it'll create a data frame called leads, and then I can use that data frame within my uh, Gen AI prompt. So down here, I'm just changing both of these into Markdown because Generative AI likes Markdown. I'm using a program called Tabulate for this, and I'm using a pipe in between. And just to show you what this looks like, this is what the Markdown looks like. So essentially, it's just a table, but it's coming out in a string type format so I can put that straight into my prompt. So this is what the Generative AI prompt looks like. You are an AI assistant tasked with allocating salespeople. Here's the following rules. Consider if any leads are spam, number one. Allocate them to salesperson spam. Allocate leads to the correct salesperson based on speciality while ensuring lead allocation is balanced. And then this is what I'm doing coding wise. I wanna take this out into a structure where it can be parsed and then sent back into the database. The whole thing about this, this is an end-to-end -end process. So I don't wanna have any manual intervention at all. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying for each lead, provide the following format. That's gonna come out in JSON. I'm gonna parse that JSON to send back into the database later on. And then what I'm doing here is this is a function. This is the system message. And then I'm giving it a prompt as well. So this prompt is just gonna be the two tables. So I'm just saying, here's your leads and here's your markdown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this prompt here and then I'm going to run the result. And this result's run in about seven seconds. And just to give you a look what this looks like, this has come out with a structure I can then parse into back into the database. So what it's done for each lead, it's given me a number of the lead, the name, the salesperson it's allocated to, and the reason it's been allocated. It's correctly identified my two spam leads. They're leads number three and four. And if we go into three and four here, this is a spam lead here, this is a sales lead, and then this is complete spam in here. It's allocated these leads out based on an allocation reason. So lead number two and five, we're asking for Nlisan. So if I go to lead number two and five here, hey, I like the look of the X trail and then the new Jukes, and they're both new Nissan, and it's the LLM has identified that they're both new Nissan, and they've allocated that to the right person who deals with Nissan cars. So Tom Pops leads new Nissan sales with 10 years of experience and they've both been allocated to him. So what we need to do now is we need to create an update row that's going to update the database. And how we do this is that this is in a nice structure in here. We're gonna strip this structure down. We're gonna send that to a data frame. And then from the data frame, we're gonna update BigQuery table, and then we're gonna set allocated equals true. That's what we need to do in that table here. And then we need to set the salesperson and the allocation reason. So essentially it's taken the salesperson here and it's taken the allocation reason here. And then it's saying where row name equals name. 
and it's taking the name here. So it's really updating the database with the name of the lead, given an allocation reason, and giving a salesperson. So let's see how this looks. And this is just the text to get this out. So this is my update database ready to go. This is just a loop code which changes this from text into a database query. So essentially, uh, that's a big long text string in there. Um, I'm splitting the text string based on the semicolon. So the semicolon at the bottom. And then I'm putting that query through. And you'll see this working here. This is what's actually going up into the database. So it's executing all the different queries here. And what you could do with this is you can run it on a trigger within a Colab notebook. So you could just have this running four or five times a day, picks up all the new leads, and then just allocates them out based on that intelligence that you've saved in the database. So here are my leads. I'm just gonna pull this from the database again. And then when I run this, you can see that these have all been updated. So they're all updated now in the database. They're all set allocated to true. They're allocated out to the specific people and there's a reason why all those have been allocated. I think this is a really good structure in order to do an end-to-end -end process with generative AI. There's a lot of things you need to consider when doing this, especially around the parsing of what comes out of the large language model. But if you can train it to spit out the same thing every time, it's fairly easy to build a flow around it. Hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.